Hello friends, welcome to PSVTraining.com and in today's session I am going to show you how to load data into Hypian Planning Vision application using Financial Management Enterprise Edition right so this is my second session in first session I already talked about fundamentals of Hypian Financial Management and Brand Data Quality Management Enterprise Edition so today we are going to load data into Hypium planning or as space the steps are remain same you set up the source and target system then you create input profile then you define location period and category then you do the next important task you do data loading mapping data load mapping then you create and execute data load mapping rule and finally import and validate data and after importing validating data will Data get exported into planning and we'll test the data by logging to a smart view. Let's see this live to make it easy to understand. So I'm taking you directly to my uh, virtual machine and today we are going to load this data. Let's understand what it consists of. This is my data, right? Now what is this in this data source file? Let's open the planning application and try to understand. So the first one is my account dimension member. In this example, account dimension member is going to map the three account dimension member called cash 101, cash 102, cash 103. All these three map to my cash account dimension. So you see over here under administration dimension, manage dimension, under your account dimension, you find the member over here. It will be a little slow. Alternatively, you can see under S space. Right, so this is my cash member. Right, the first member is cash. This map to triple one zero. Second one is going to be your anti dimension. This is your anti dimension double one zero. Sorry, and these are product P underscore triple zero. P underscore triple zero is no product and P underscore one double zero. The product X working is a version dimension member working is a version dimension member right and last one is your data so my data is going to add up finally to the parent right this is your data let's save this and let's go step by step so first I log into my FDME this is called data management over here open the FDME the initial set of steps remain same you need not do it multiple times I quickly walk you through under system setting you select the profile type in our case the profile type is flat file define the folder structure called complete path where your folder structure is going to be created so when you define the path by default it create three folders inbox outbox and data Similarly, you give an application setting, define your target application. In our case, it's a vision planning application. So define the folder where planning application artifacts are going to store the data file and all. So you see the same folder, data inbox and outbox. Okay, now you define a source system. Source system is also already defined, it's a flat file. So when you click on plus, you get an option to define the source system source system name source system type it could be one of them oracle ebs people soft jd edward sap sapw and um, your financial applications in this example we, our source system is flat file okay after we define flat file give a name of this and odi default context is global it's a default as global right I don't need a drill through URL, I'm leaving it empty as of now. Then you give a target application. The three target application already exist. I'm going to create new one, click plus, and my application is planning application. Right? It takes a little time to populate. So you see there are one, two, three. There's a planning target application for S space, planning, HFM, ARM, custom other dimension. You can create a target application one of them any one of them okay so there's a target application I refresh metadata refresh member 
I define click on add new and I suppose you like to add planning dimension planning application my vision application should appear over here let me check if it is not appearing so what I did I deleted a target application I'm going to add it once again click on add select the target application once again planning and select your vision application okay. because it was already exist therefore it was not appearing so add a new target application this is the mapping criteria dimension name target dimension class and data table column name this all land up I'm going to store under my staging table okay. so we go by default let it be just name it I'm going to name it as a vision load into vision application save it it was already mapped previously therefore it was not coming in a list okay, next step we go to import format this is the most important thing in import format we define what is what so click on add define new import format and name it as vision load and my source is ERP the source could be EPM as well the source is ERP in this case uh, source is a text file and target is my planning application named as vision and my source file is delimited text file with a delimited as comma right this is a source file and delimited as comma perfect you save it and you define mapping over here in this case you go for one to one mapping look at your source all these are account dimension which is field number one so account is field number one it's very simple second one is your entity which is field number second I see this is entity I define field number second third one is your product which is field number four I define product field number four fifth one is working which is field number five which is version so this is version field number five make sure that is spelled correctly and last one is your amount which is field number one two three four this one is four product is three I mistakenly given incorrect three four and fifth one is your account right fifth one is your account right we do one to one mapping I don't need any expression in this case also I leave the drill URL as of now in next example we see how to drill from drill URL fifth amount is fifth entity is second product is third and version is four save it now it's saved next step I define location in location I define where I'm going to load it and my point of view so I create a new location okay I name it vision load name could be anything define import profile which is vision load and your source file is remain text file and target is your vision application I'm not going to set other option like entity account entity functional currency all I leave it as default and go to the period mapping so in this example I'm going to load data for January quarter 1 FI 15 right January quarter 1 FI 15 you can change it in case you need it we want to load it over here in my period is January which fall under this right quarter one and year is F515 right okay this mapping is done for period as well you can load for multiple period as well category is going to be a scenario in this example I'm going to load data for actual you can add a multiple category actual budget and so on and define the frequency frequency is daily monthly quarterly and yearly often data come from ERP actual data come from ERP on monthly basis though it is not mandatory it may come weekly as well and daily as well so define the category mapping actual setup activity is done now I go to workflow and define data load mapping look at I need to map all the member step by step on a data load mapping change your point of view to vision load right 
and my my period is January and category is just scenario is actual right then do the mapping one by one in this case these three members are going to map these three accounts are going to map to my single account called cash account so I use a in operator in and I define the name over here cash 101 102 103 and I use a comma operator comma delimiter all three map to my cash you can manually type it alternatively you can click on search and search as well and you find over here one financial element called cash so we see where it is actually it should be all account on the balance sheet Here it is. This one is cash one 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 zero. Right? This is our source one 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 zero. This is one 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 zero. I map to this one 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 zero. You can see it over here. It's a cash. See one 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 zero is a cash. Right, this mapping is done I save this and go on and do the same mapping for all all cash map name the rule name then go to save it do the same thing with entity entity explicit mapping one to one right, so explicit mapping is just a one to one one double one zero maps to double one zero right that's it save it Product is also explicit mapping P00 P underscore triple zero map to P underscore triple zero, isn't it? And now there are two product P underscore hundred P underscore hundred one to one mapping, and finally version is also one to one mapping. It's a working version. It's simple. Save it. Then you go to data load rule. And click a new data load rule. Change your point of view. Make sure your point of view is correct. Click on add data load rule. Name it. I call this vision load. I'm loading for actual scenario, a single period, plan one, hyphen plan one, and vision load. You can load to plan two, plan three, anything. Point to your source file. Just make sure where your full file is stored. Source file. This is over here. PL multiple cache. So I point to this under vision PL multiple cache. Okay, that's it. Save it. And the last step is you execute. Click on execute. I'm importing from source, exporting to target for period January. And I use the option replace or append because we are loading it first time. It hardly matters. You use replace or append. Every activity is submitted as a Jobs, you see that there's an extract ID and process ID you can see over here. I click on OK. We continue to refresh and see the difference. Refresh, we refresh it, it takes two three more minutes. We continue refresh and wait for it. And you find it my data load fail. When I click on this, I get to know the reason behind this a log file has been rendered. I click on show and open it. Right, you can see the whole log file. Alternate way is that the log file rendered. Alternate way you can go to data work load workbench and you see uh, the fish dark color fish say the successful uh, shaded area is called error. I see the reason over here 103 cache is not mapped. Do you see very clear entity map to entity, version map to version, product map to product, amount map to my amount, but cache 103 is not mapped. The reason behind it during mapping we did a mistake you see right there's a misspell it's a 103 i did not write 103 so this such silly mistakes happen to the human error you correct this and then you reload it again i'm going to execute it again again i'm import from source and export to target run it we wait for a few seconds we got an extract id and process id 
and after a few seconds it gets loaded over here so I refresh and I found the green right marks demonstrate data load is done successfully I can go to workbench and check right my all data got loaded the final step you can log into your uh, you can check this data in HyperM planning web form or you can log into your um, smart view and check it over there simple step go to smart view log into your planning or a space click on ad hoc analysis and point to the same dimension structure so here is a manual type here is f515 our scenario is actual version is working version okay product is p underscore triple zero and uh, period is January right you retrieve data and I need to point you to my cache so all account point to cache directly which is I can either locate this way or I can simple type that it was triple one zero I remember the ID this is your value I point to the product and which entity point to the entity it was 1110 refresh this is your data this is for product one we have two product and there's another product called P 100 right refresh and this is what data is it's 3100 and 3090 test it if some of these three thousand thousand three thousand three thousand ninety and here three thousand one hundred so this is how you can check your data got loaded into your planning application not that's it for today this was a simple example given you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we are going to add close to 50 more example about hype and planning you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and log into our site to access more videos should you have any training and consulting requirement, please visit our site. Thank you and have a great day.